Hi, my name is Anne Hill, and I'm your instructor today from UMA. We are in RX 2010, and we are going to discuss today disorders of the endocrine system. The endocrine system consists of specialized cell clusters, glands, hormones, and target tissues. Along with the nervous system, the endocrine system regulates metabolism and homeostasis. Endocrine glands throughout the body secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream. The anatomy and physiology of the endocrine system. The important glands with endocrine functions include hypothalamus, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, penal gland, parathyroid glands, thymus gland, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovaries, and testes. Most activity is controlled by the pituitary gland, or master gland, which is controlled by the hypothalamus. Hormones are natural chemicals that regulate activities of organs or tissues. For example, Insulin is secreted when the blood glucose level rises. Glucagon antagonizes insulin and is released when blood glucose levels fall below normal. Here is a graphic that depicts the anatomy and the physiology of the endocrine system. We see where the pancreas is, the thylamus, pituitary, penile, thyroid and parathyroid, adrenal gland, then we have our ovaries and the testes. Hormonal regulation. Hormones work together to regulate vital bo body processes. Secretion in the digestive tract, energy production, Composition and volume of extracellular fluid, adaptation and immunity, growth and development, reproduction and lactation. The hypothalamus is the main integrative center for the endocrine and autonomic nervous system. Neural stimulation of the posterior pituitary causes secretion of antidiuretic hormone, vasopressin and oxytocin. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamic hormones stimulate the pituitary gland to synthesize and release tropic hormones, corticotropin, thyroid stimulating hormone, gonadotropins, luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone. Pituitary gland, a small round gland situated at the base of the brain, secretes hormones that regulate other endocrine glands. Anterior lobe, adenohypophysis, and posterior lobe, neurohypophysis, are controlled by the hypothalamus. Anterior pituitary gland, the anterior lobe secretes growth hormone, somatotropin GH, HGH, anticocorticotropic hormone, corticotropin, ACTH, thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, luteinizing hormone, LH, prolactin, PRL, melanocyte stimulating hormone, MSH. In this graphic over here you can see the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary. Major hormones of the pituitary gland and their principal target organs. And you can see by this graphic here how all these organs are regulated by the pituitary gland. 
growth hormone, somatotropin, promotes body growth, stimulates cells to increase in size, and to divide rapidly. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, stimulates growth of the adrenal gland, cortex, and secretion of corticosteroids. Normally, a diurnal rhythm occurs with an increased beginning after the first few hours of sleep. This reaches a peak when a person awakens. Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, controls release of thyroid hormone, necessary for thyroid gland growth and function, stimulates increased uptake of iodine and increased synthesis and releases of har thyroid hormones. TSH is prescribed for hypogadnism and diagnostic tests. Follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, controls development of the ova and in the ovaries and sperm in the testes. It also stimulates the ovaries to secrete estrogen. Luteinizing hormone, LH, stimulates sex hormone secretion in both genders. In males, LH stimulates testosterone secretion. In females, LH stimulates progesterone secretion. Prolactin, PRL, stimulates milk production in the female breast. This occurs after pregnancy and delivery of an infant. Posterior pituitary gland. The neurohypothesis releases antidiuretic hormone, ADH or vasopressin, and oxytocin. ADH acts on the distal and collecting tubules of the kidneys increasing permeability to water and reducing urine volume. Oxytocin produces powerful contractions of the pregnant uterus. It also causes milk to flow from the breasts. Penal gland, a small gland located at the thalamus of the brain, secretes melatonin which regulates the body's circadian rhythm. Thyroid gland, located in the anterior neck, the largest endocrine gland, resembles a butterfly with right and left lobes. It secretes T4, T3, and calcitonin. Thyroxin governs cellular oxygen consumption and the production of energy and heat. And you can see the graphic here, how it does resemble a butterfly. Thyroid gland, iodine is essential for thyroid hormone synthesis, decreases serum levels of T3 and T4, stimulate release of TRH from the hypothalamus, stimulating pituitary gland secretion of TSH. Calcitonin is important in calcium metabolism. Parathyroid glands, four tiny glands that lie along the dorsal surface of the thyroid gland, secrete parathyroid hormone, PTH, or parathormone stimulated by the low plasma level of calcium. PTH targets the bones, intestines, and kidneys to increase plasma calcium levels, stimulating bone breakdown and calcium releases to the blood. Thalamus gland, located in the mediastinal cavity, superior and interior to the heart. It kickstarts the immune system after birth, including the development of the T cells. Thymosin is secreted, which develops the immune system. The thymus 
grows into the greatest size during puberty, then shrinks throughout life. Adrenal glands located at the top of each kidney have an outer adrenal cortex and an in inner adrenal medulla. The adrenal cortex synthesizes three groups of hormones, glucocorticoids, mineral ocorticoids, androgens. Adrenal glands here on this graphic, as you can see, where we have the adrenal glands, the kidneys, ovaries for the female, and the gonads for the male. Adrenal cortex secretions, cortisol regulates carbohydrates in the body. Aldosterone regulates sodium and potassium levels. Androgens regulate secondary sex characteristics. Adrenal medulla secretions, epinephrine, norepinephrine, both of these hormones are vital for emergency situation, increases heart rate, blood pressure, and respirations, allowing the body to perform better when under stress. Pancreas, an accessory organ of the digestive system found below the inner stomach curvature. It is a mixed gland with both endocrine and exocrine functions, produces digestive enzymes. The islet of the Langerhans contain alpha and beta cells. The alpha cells produces glucagon to raise blood glucose levels. Beta cells release insulin which lowers blood glucose levels. When serum blood glucose levels decline, glucagon facilitates breakdown of glucagon in the liver to glucose. The ovaries are the two female gonads that located in the lower abdomen pelvic cavity. They produce the female sex hormones including estrogens and progesterone. Testes in males, the testes are the two oval glands inside the scrotum. They are the male gonads, they produce the male sex hormone, testosterone, and gametes, which is sperm. Disorders of the endocrine system, various forms of diabetes. Hypopituitarism and hyperpituitarism, single goiter, Hashimoto's disease, hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, and myxedemia, Cushing syndrome and Addison disease, neuroblastoma, and pheochromocytoma. Diabetes insipidus, a disturbance of water metabolism due to deficiency in the release of vasopressin, more common in males, causing excretion of a larger than normal amounts of colorless dilute urine. Treatments include injection or nasal spray of vasopressin, oral desmopressin, acetate, and use of thiazide diuretics. Hypopituitarism, caused by deficiency or absence of any of the pituitary hormones, especially from the anterior pituitary lobe. In children, it causes growth retardation. Treatments is based on patient age, severity of condition, types of deficiency, an underlying cause, it may include tumor removal or hormone replacement therapy. Hypopituitarism, dwarfism, is the abnormal underdevelopment of the body that occurs in children. Secondary 
hypopoteroidism results from the head trauma, infection, or a tumor. For dwarfism, samatotropin is administered until the height of 5 feet is reached, and sometimes thyroid hormone, adrenal hormone, or sex hormone replacements. Hyperpituitarism caused by excessive production and secretion of pituitary hormones, especially human growth hormone or HGH. Excessive HGH produces either gigantism before puberty or acromegaly after puberty. Hyperpituitarism Gigantism describes an abnormal pattern of growth and stature, resulting in proportional overgrowth of all body tissues, often caused by an anterior pituitary adenoma. Treatment is focused on reducing amounts of GH that are secreted via transphenoidal surgery, radiation, or gonadal hormone treatment. Acromegaly occurs when epiphyseal closure has already occurred and usually appears up the age of 30 or 40. There is an overgrowth of just the bones of the face, hands, feet, and soft tissue. Treatments are designed to reduce GH secretion, including surgery and radiation of the existing tumor. Simple goiter. Goiter refers to any enlargement of the thyroid gland. Simple goiter results from a shortage of dietary iodine. Treatments include one drop of saturated solution of potassium iodide per week, thyroid hormone replacement, and avoiding goitrogenic foods such as cabbage, turnips, or drugs. Hashimoto's disease, also called Hashimoto's thyroiditis or chronic thyroiditis, common in women between ages 45 and 65, the main cause of non-simple goiter and hypothyroidism. Treatments requirements replacement of thyroid hormones over the patient's entire lifetime, which also prevents additional goiter growth. Hyperthyroidism, overproduction of thyroid, hormone causing increased metabolism. Graves' disease is a primary hypothyroidism and an autoimmune disease. Causes exophthalmus eyeball protrusion. Treatments include antithyroid medications, beta blockers, radioactive iodine therapy, and less commonly surgical thyroidectomy. Hypothyroidism, a common disease that affects both sexes at any age and may occur in families. Creatinism is a form of congenital hypothyroidism seen in infancy or early childhood. It results in mental and physical retardation. Treatments involvements hormone replacement over the patient's lifetime. Myxedema, severe prolonged hypothyroidism in older children or adults. Symptoms include skin changes, fatigue, muscle weakness, facial bloating, tongue thickening, weight gain, thinning hair, constipation, and cold intolerance. Treatment is lifelong and involves the use of T4 in the lowest possible doses. Cushing syndrome, condition of the chronic hypersecretion of cortisol from the adrenal cortex due to tumors and abnormal ACTH secretion. Symptoms Fatigue, muscle weakness, fat deposits in the abdomen and shoulders, known as buffalo humps, moon-shaped face, and edema. Treatments is based on the cause, including surgical removal 
radiation, and drugs that suppress secretion of ACTH. Addison's disease, partial or total failure of adrenal cortical functions that is often gradual. Symptoms include fatigue, weakness, lack of appetite, weight loss, skin, bronzing, and cardiovascular or gastrointestinal problems. Treatments include glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids throughout life, electrolyte balancing, and prevention of stress and infections. Neuroblastoma, a cancer that usually arises from the adrenal medulla common in infants. Nearly all neuroblastomas occurs in children under the age of five. Produces catecholamines detectable in the urine as well as abdominal pain, discomfort, and fullness. Treatments include surgical resection, chemotherapy, stem cell transplantation, and radiation. Pheochromocytoma is a rare tumor of the adrenal medulla, causing over-release of epinephrine and norepinephrine. Symptoms include abdominal or chest pain, irritability, pallor, palpitations, tachycardia, severe headache, sweating, and weight loss. Treatments involve surgical removal, if possible, or medication to manage the tumor growth. Diabetes mellitus is a chronic disorder of carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism caused by inadequate production of insulin by the pancreas or ineffective utilization of insulin by the cells. There are two forms, type 1, which has early erupt onset, type 2, which is a more common form, usually occurs between 30 years of age, the pancreas secretes little or no insulin. Type 2 onset, common in adults over age 30, more common over age 55 if overweight. Some pancreatic function remains, so control of symptoms by dietary management is possible. Treatments are generally aimed at normalizing blood glucose levels. They include diet control, insulin, oral hypoglycemics, sulfonylureas, megalitonides, regular blood and urine testing, exercise, and good hygiene. Gestational diabetes, GDM, is also known as type 3 diabetes. It occurs during pregnancy and is influenced by blocking of insulin via placental hormones. Symptoms include polydipsia, polyuria, polyphagia, and excessive blood glucose, usually beginning during weeks 24 to 28 of gestation. Treatments include limiting intake of simple sugars, moderate exercise, oral hypoglycemics, insulin, and close monitoring of blood glucose. Medications used to treat endocrine system disorders are drugs for the thyroid conditions, drugs to treat diabetes, insulin, and oral hypoglycemics. In this video, we looked at the endocrine system, which consists of cells, clusters, glands, and hormones. As you review the coursework for this week, make sure you understand the meaning of some of these words you may have not seen before. A website you may want to use for pronouncing these hard words is www.howjsay.com. Prepare to do the rest of your coursework this week by using this video, doing the examples in your books, and complete the week's interactives, assignments, and assessments. Thank you for joining me today. 
Thank you for choosing UMA for your education and have fun learning. That's what it's all about. So till next time, happy studying.